Okay, next thing we need to mess with is our face and our neck. We need for these layers to be totally different and we need to mask some stuff that we don't want. So let's start with your face. So let's hide your neck. It's gonna not look like anything really changes out here. But if I look at my layers, my face is the only thing that's currently turned on. Let's go in and let's apply a mask. So I'm gonna click on this little square donut down here and I'm gonna get a blank clear white mask. There's no black on it currently. What you need to do is come over here and get your paintbrush. And I would use a hard brush at the beginning and then a fuzzy brush later. So I'm gonna start with a hard brush and we are going to remove our head from our body. We do not need this neck. We are going to need just our face. So using a hard brush and making it kind of larger, I can just come in and really quickly swipe off the screen any of this body that I don't need. And then I can zoom on up in here and I can switch back to my fuzzy brush and I can clean up around my chin. But don't use a big fuzzy brush because see how it's hard to control? You get this terrible foggy kind of fart edge. Fuzzy brushes like it when they're small and you come in here and you clean up along this chin. And then we don't have to worry about if we weren't super precise and it helps us kind of trim off any of those dark pixels. So it's going to take me a second to do this. And I like to do this in little motions. I don't like to try to do it in one big swipe. So then if I screw up and I have to back up, then I'm not stuck losing a bunch of good because of one silly move. Again, I'm using a little tiny fuzzy brush. I'm getting rid of all that dark shadow that's under the neck. I want just my face. And you might have some little tiny little pixels floating around in there. Be sure and get those. Be able to do a really nice job. There we go. So now when I look at my little mask here, it looks kind of like I have a turtleneck on. Like there's just black hanging out down here underneath my face. Now we're going to do the opposite thing. We're going to come over here to our neck layer. I'm going to apply a mask, but this time we're going to decapitate your person. We're going to get rid of his face. So I'm going to come in here with my hard brush and I'm going to get rid of his face. Now somewhere along here, your neck finally meets the sides of your face. That's kind of where we need to cut this off at. So it's almost going to be like we're a bowl. So I'm just coming in here and I'm just erasing the opposite, or masking, excuse me, the opposite of what I had before. And this, you don't have to be as precise. We don't have to go back in there and really edge this thing. But do get decently close. We don't just don't need all this poking out. So again, there's my mask. I've got black slathered all over my face, hiding that, leaving just my neck and my shoulders. So now you can go ahead and turn your face layer back on. Your face layer now just contains your head. Your neck layer contains just your neck and your shoulders. And just double check that you don't have any weird gaps kind of poking out. I might have a teeny, teeny, tiny bit right there where it looks like my face is not attached. So if you do have any gaps, that gap is probably occurring along your neck and not your face. So come back to your neck mask right here. Come back with the color white, because white brings things back to life, and then just reconnect your face, excuse me, your neck to your face anywhere where that connection just got broke. So now you should have your face and your neck 
prepped and ready to go for us to move on to the next step.